Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we are going to solve this given radical equation. And as you can see, we have this radical equation as cube root of 14 plus the square root of x plus the cube root of, once again, 14 minus square root of x equals to 4. And let me go ahead and call this as an equation number 1. Let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's the very first thing I am going to do. Let me go ahead and call this first term as an A. That means I can write this first term A equal to the cube root of 14 plus square root of X. And let's call this second term as a B. Therefore, I can write B equal to the cube root of 14 minus square root of X. So therefore, after this substitution, our equation 1 is going to look like this one. I can write a plus b equals to 4. Now we are going to take power 3 on both sides for this one. So let's go ahead and take power 3 on the left hand side and likewise on the right hand side. Now to expand this binomial on the left hand side, we will be using this cubic formula as you can see over here. So let's go ahead and expand it. So this could be written as a power 3 plus 3a square b plus 3ab square plus b cube equal to 4 power 3 is 60. And now in this next step, let's focus on the left hand side of this equation. I have just copied it down over here and I have manipulated this one and I ended up with a cube plus b cube plus 3 times a b times a plus b. So equation, this equation is going to become a power 3 plus b power 3 plus 3 times a b times a plus b equal to 64. And now I went ahead and substituted back these a and b values in this equation. As you can see, this is our a, so this become a power 3. This is our b, so this become b power 3 plus 3 times once again this is a and this is b. And this a plus b, we know that a plus b is 4. So I replace that a plus b by 4. And on the right hand side, it is 64. Now we can see that this cube and cube root, they undo each other. We ended up with simply 14 plus square root of x. And likewise, this cube and cube root, they are gone. So we ended up with plus 14 minus square root of x and plus 3 times this 4 is going to become I'm going to write down plus 12. Now we are going to simplify these two radicals when we multiply them we will be using this rule so I can write this one as the cube root and I can write under the same shelter, I can write 14 minus square root of x and then times 14 minus, or sorry, this is plus and this is minus x and then this right hand side equal to 64. And now we can see that this positive square root of x and this negative square root of x, they are gone. So we just ended up 14 plus 14 is 28 plus 12. Now let's focus on this radical part, the cube root. I have just copied it down over here and let's go ahead and simplify it. Now we can see that this represents the product of sum and the difference. If I call this A and this B and likewise this is A and this b then we can use this formula a minus b times a plus b is a square minus b square 
So this is going to become 14 square minus the square root of x and then square. 14 square is simply 196 and this square and square root this is gone so we ended up with negative x. Now let's revert back to our this original equation so I can write 12 times the cube root of this the radicant part this inside this cube root I am going to replace it by 196 minus x let me just go ahead and do this thing 196 minus x equal to 64 and now I wanted to isolate this cube root part this one after basic algebraic stuff I have just got this cube root of 196 minus x turns out to be equal to 3 and here is our next step I have just copied it down this cube root of 196 minus x equal to 3 right up here and now we are going to take the cube on both sides power 3 on this side and this power 3 on this side as well now this cube and cube root they are gone so we simply ended up with 196 minus x equal to 3 power 3 is 27. Now let's go ahead and isolate x. So this becomes 196 minus 27. So that means our solution x is going to be 169. Thus our solution turns out to be a 169. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.